agitation for power shift to the Ikiti South Central District is drawing more attention by the residents of the area, as the agitator aired another peaceful protest to urge all political parties to zone the governorship seat to the south in the next year gubernatorial election in the state. This agitation is coming barely six months before the conduct of the gubernatorial election in the state, as residents of the Southern Senatorial District are demanding all political parties to zone their gubernatorial ticket to the south. A prominent lawyer, Olu Aluko, who spoke with reporters during the peaceful rally, said the Southern Senatorial District has been constantly cheated over time. He added that the Senatorial District has illustrious sons and daughters qualified enough to be governor of Ikiti State. Bring it to the south. And you know, it's a democracy now. And everybody will trash it out there. It's not body's father's property. But the way when you were there, we gave you support. When you were there in the, in, in, in the north, J.K. ran against nine uh, Northern Latin and he emerged. Did we say then that the, the north was not united? Did we? So you cannot use that as an excuse. That you, we have two political parties. Why must we bring one candidate? We are primaries. We have no. All we are saying is that zone it to the south. Let everybody go and trash it out there, as you did it before. Also speaking, coordinator of Ikiti South Development Agenda, Comrade Idowu Afuye, said this is the right time for the trend to change. With the youth, we came out again to let them know that Ikiti South, we have one voice this time around. Enough of deputy governor, enough of speaker, enough of marginalization. And we are using this medium to warn our sons and daughters who are moving around lobby for the seat of deputy governor come 2022. We are not going to take it easy with anybody. It is our time to produce the next governor of the state. As agitation continues, residents of the state are keeping their fingers crossed, watching the event as it unfolds. For African News of Television, Elizabeth Adeyemi reporting.